In this video, we will be introducing some of the best and new phones that are being just released or you might not have heard of, which are also good for gaming. So before jumping into the video, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed, you're welcome to do that. Just like many other watch phones, the Ace 88 Pro is a transformer-like look with a brightly handsome body made of metal and rubber for IP69K water and drop resistance. Among others, it has a decent 1080p screen, adequate hardware for the job, a modern camera setup but what's probably the key selling feature is the enormous 10,000mAh battery. So the Doji S88 Pro offers a 6.3 1080p IPS LCD screen. It runs on Helio P70 chip and packs a triple camera on the back with 21 megapixel primary camera, an 8 megapixel ultra wide shooter, and an 8 megapixel depth sensor. The Ule Phone Armor 8 is available in 64GB storage powered and supported by 4GB of RAM with give enough storage for daily use. The Ule Phone Armor is available in 128GB storage powered and supported by 6GB of RAM which gives enough storage for daily use. You can also increase storage with the help of a micro SD card but use the shared SIM slot. On the other hand, the MediaTek MT6771 Helio P60 equips moderate performance experience. There will be less delay in multitasking for sure, while the software section is operated by Android 10 interface and software, which is very good for everyday use. The second most notable thing about the phone besides durability is undoubtedly the scratch resistance glass and oleophobic coating. The bottleneck of 720p resolution is predefined on the 6.1 inch IPS LCD screen due to the price point of it. OnePlus introduced the Nord mid-range series to fill the vacuum left by its premium devices. In fact, the company decided to have two different range of Nord devices for different markets and now it is adding the Nord CE 5G to that lineup. This new Nord phone flaunts a 6.43 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display that supports 1080x2400 pixels resolution. The screen gets a punch hole design and offers pixels density of 409 ppi. The new Nord phone uses Octa-Core Snapdragon 750G chipset to give you performance and 5G support. It comes paired with 6GB RAM and offers 120GB internal storage that is further expandable up to 512GB. The Nord CE 5G features a triple rear camera that includes 64MB primary sensor, 8MP ultra-wide angle sensor, and 2MP depth sensor. On the front, the phone has a 16MP selfie camera that also supports video calls. The phone from OnePlus gets a built-in 4500mAh battery that supports 30W fast charging via USB Type-C port. Other features on the phone are rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, face unlock and headphones jack. Samsung has opted to keep two series as part of its mid-range lineup. You have the popular M series and the A series that started off much before the former came into the market. And now, with the new year setting in, the company has added another product to its A series and it is called the Galaxy A22. The phone features a 6.4-inch HD Plus AMOLED display with support for 720 by 1600 pixels resolution. The screen gets a notch that houses the front camera. The phone comes powered by Octa-Core MediaTek Helio G80 chipset. The hardware setup includes 6GB RAM and Mali G52 MC2 GPU. The Galaxy A22 runs on Android 11 best Samsung One UI version out of box. You get 128GB onboard storage that is further expandable up to 1TB using the dedicated card slot. The device gets backed up by a 5000mAh battery that supports 15W fast charging using the USB Type-C port. Vivo has come up with a new handset in the youth-oriented Y series, dubbed as the Vivo Y72 5G. The Y-series smartphones are known to flaunt unique and vibrant designs 
that reflect the style of millennials. The new Y72 5G is the first smartphone in the Y series with 5G support. In terms of specifications, the new 5G enabled handset sports 6.4 inches IPS LCD offering a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. The phone is powered by a 2 GHz octa core MediaTek Dimensity 720 SoC. The processor is coupled with 8 GB of RAM. The phone includes a non expandable internal storage capacity of 128 GB. The handset comes loaded with a 4100 mAh battery with 18 volt fast charging support. Realme Nazo 30 5G Zone is the affordable 5G variant in the brand's Nazo 30 series. The company recently launched Nazo 30 Pro 5G and Nazo 30A. The Nazo 5G gets a 6.5 inches IPS LCD having a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels. The 5G handset comes powered by the Octa Core MediaTek Dimensity 700 MT6833 SOC that clocks at 2.2 GHz. The phone packs 6 GB RAM that accounts for leg free multitasking performance. The phone packs a triple camera set. Moving on to the storage. The phone packs 64 GB internal storage with an expandable memory option of up to 256 GB using a micro SD card. The phone is a battery powerhouse and it comes loaded with 6000 mAh battery with fast charging support. It can be refilled quite quickly. The phone comes pre-loaded with Android 10 Q operating system. The phone comes powered by Octa-Core MediaTek Helio G95 chipset paired with 8GB RAM. This will let you do all kinds of tasks on the phone without any hiccups. The 256GB onboard storage can be expanded further with a micro SD card slot up to 256GB. The phone runs on the Android 11 operating system that promises improved security feature and more. For imaging, the phone gets quad rear cameras that include 64 megapixel primary sensor, 8 megapixel sensor, 2 megapixel sensor and 2 megapixel depth sensor. On the front it has a 16 megapixel selfie camera that also doubles up for video calls and video recording. In the next one we have Vivo V21 E5 g with the Vivo V21 E5 g Vivo is adding one more device to its V-series lineup. The all-new Vivo Y21 E5 g features a 6.44-inch AMOLED display with Full HD+, 1080x2400 pixels resolution. The display panel, however, only has a standard 60Hz refresh rate. The V21 E5 g is powered by an octa-core Dimensity 700 chipset, which is aided with Mali G57 MC2 GPU. The smartphone packs 8 GB of RAM and has 128 GB of internal storage. It also has micro SD card support for extra storage expansion up to 1 TB. For imaging purposes, the device features a dual camera setup that consists of a 64 megapixel primary main camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. For selfie and video calling, the phone comes equipped with a 32 megapixel camera unit. The V21 E5 G packs a 4000 mAh battery that has a 44 watt fast charging support. The Vivo IQ00 Z3 comes loaded with a decent battery capacity of 4500 mAh that can be charged via a USB Type-C port. Also, you get 55W fast charging support. The Vivo IQ OZ3 comes with 128GB inbuilt memory. It is important to note that the device does not feature any expandable memory option. As for the performance, the smartphone comes powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 1100MT6891Z octa-core chipset. The device packs 6GB of RAM for smooth multitasking performance. For graphical performance, there is a Mali G77 MC9 GPU. Poco M3 Pro 5G will impress you with its look especially for what you pay. The phone supports 5G with the help of MediaTek Dimensity 700 SoC along with 6GB RAM that delivers decent performance. And it flaunts a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus display that offers a screen resolution at 1080 by 2400 pixels with a pixel density of 405 ppi. The screen gets 90Hz refresh rate support with a 
Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection, but it only has a hybrid SIM load. The cameras are average for the price, and you get a 5000 battery that supports 18 volt fast charging via USB Type C port. Worth going for if you need a reliable daily usage device that has the looks. Thank you for watching this video till the end, and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Stay blessed.